so good morning everybody today I'm gonna replace the steering on this John Deere LA 130 that I'm fixing up for sale I already took out the center cap here it's really quick and easy you basically just reach under here and push back the tabs as they poke through so that's out but the steering is really loose So I bought this kit, it comes with a couple of bushings, a couple of bolts, the rack, and pinion. So let's see if we can't get these thrown on there. I already have the deck removed, so this should make it quicker and easier. Now you can kind of see below the battery tray there, there's where the shaft goes through the frame, and it's pretty loose. Underside here, I've already replaced this pinion with another used one, but still awfully loose. Let's see what it looks like. When I move the steering. A lot of slop there. It's possible I could tighten that up and it would help. Alright, let's pull all that off and um, get the new bushings in there and get this thing out the door. Okay, so we got uh, the gear off. The hardest part is that on the back side of this nut, this bolt and this bolt, there is a nut. It's up in there and it's hard to reach. So I was able to get a crescent wrench in, or a boxing wrench through here and through the other side, coming in this way. And um, here those bolts are. And that one was really worn down. You can see how thin it is on that one side. It seems like this kit didn't come with an upper bushing, it's just two lower bushings. And I know this thing is wearing up here, and that's where some slop is coming from, which is right inside this bracket here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. But anyway, I need to pull the um, control arms off of the steering gear and um, get everything swapped in. And I'm thinking um, one of the old bushings I may trim down and try to put it up top there to tighten the steering up. Because the plastic one didn't really seem that worn, so we'll see. Alright, I've got the gear out. Let's go and compare things. Yeah, those are pretty pointy. This gear looks like it can fit multiple mowers. I get these out. Kind of a narrow wrench needed for that. I'll either grind one down or I'll stick a pair of needle nose on there. enough so we got some new hardware we got um, this one new and this bolt did not come as a new nut so but gosh that's worn out really thin there so that'll help hold the steering gear up a little bit better so that's how it was wearing in there you can see the notch on both sides so like that so this one go like that and then the steering gear will go on the shaft along with the new bushing and we'll get this back together. So here's the old steering gear versus the new one. You can see if you look down the side profile that the centers are worn out a little bit. And so that'll just help tighten things up a little bit. Here's an old bushing versus the new bushing. I was like, these bushings don't really look that worn out. The old ones. So. Like I said, I'll probably go ahead and throw the new one in there and try to take the old one and maybe tighten up the top, maybe cut it down into a bushing for the upper.
So we got all the steering components on the underside. Now I'm just going to try to cut the ears off this bushing and see if I can get it to fit down in here. We'll see, it may be a lousy idea. I think it's a good idea though. So let's see if we can't get that done. Let's just not cut ourselves too much. All right, got this bushing whittled down some. Used the Dremel a little bit as well. And it's getting to where it's pretty snug in here. But I think I might be able to persuade it to go down because I want it to be pretty tight. You could almost just put the steering wheel on here and just try to pound it down. Or I could um, actually get a large socket and pound it down. I like that. See if the steering wheel will fit on there. Of course, I want my steering to be straight before I put the steering wheel. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Still just a little bit of slop in there, but this is a lot firmer. Oh yeah. I think we have succeeded in our mission. Steering wheel looks pretty straight for a straight. Let's see if I can turn turn right pretty good. Turn left. Pretty good as well. Alright, I think I got the steering gear pretty centered then, so we should be good. Last thing left is to put the cap in. Just kind of want to get it lined up and try not to break these ears. That's the thing, you want to get those. There we go. I'm going to get that last one down into the hole so I don't just break it off. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. So I'll show you what that clanking is. That clank is the steering gear, gear wobbling either way when you put tension on it and coming up and hitting the other side of the mower. And I don't think there's anything we can do about that because both of the, these bolts are pretty tight. I think that's just going to be like that. But this it feels a lot tighter here. All right, I think we're done messing with the steering on this mower. So that's how to change the steering gear on a John Deere LA-130. And I think uh, other mowers are probably the same. So thanks for following along as I get that changed out. This mower, uh, I think there's gonna be some, there's other project videos that we'll be doing on this from the past. Um, this mower needed a lot of work, a lot more than I realized. And then we should have a video kind of of the overall process of getting it ready to go. But yeah, Dondra LA-130 steering has been fixed.